Today, we're going to bring another fantastic digital clock. Now, I did review one that was a plug-in one. Now, we're going to take a look at this one and see what you get when you get something like this. Now, this is perfect for outdoors, indoors. Uh, it is not water resistant, so keep away. Make sure that there is some cover to cover the water because a lot of people like to keep these outside. But you want to make sure you maintain them, all right? They're not waterproof, so just make sure you cover some of the area where it, a lot of moisture is not going to get hit, hit. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what you get when you get something like this. This is perfect for a man cave or uh, just your regular home or anywhere that you need to find out the date and time. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and set this up and see what you get. All right. First of all, when you get it, these are awesome little devices. So I'm going to explain to you why. Uh, this is to mount your actual clock on the wall if you want to. This is actually a ruler made for just this clock by itself, digital clock, to mount it anywhere. And if you notice, if you, I, I did mount it and I actually captured some of the footage, me mounting this before on, uh, on my digital clock that I love here. So I actually request another one so I can, we put it on our man cave here. And this is a perfect, awesome little device because let me tell you something. There is no plug-in on this one. It's battery based. And on top of that, they give you an actual stand. If you guys notice, you can put it by, by your, 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 you can use this as an alarm clock too. Look how big and large it is. You can't miss the time on this one. So one thing I like about this is like in here is where all the batteries go and they include all the batteries. I just won all of them. Now, this one does not have remote, but it does have the, uh, like I said, it has a speaker for the alarm system, the mount, and then you set up the clock and the timers here. So this has a, um, a countdown too. So if you're gonna use it in the kitchen, you're gonna leave this in the kitchen and you wanna maybe a timer, you can do this by actually moving in there. We're gonna take a look at it. First of all, let's let's go ahead and open it up. Now these two, um, first of all, let's start with the actual uh, batteries itself. These two batteries here in the top, there is they are to maintain the time so in case the batteries fail or something happens this is going to continue going and you can always replace these batteries these should last you for many years these can be replaced every couple of years too also um but these are the actual batteries that are going to run the clock and this is just to retain the memory on the actual system itself so let's go ahead and set it up so we're going to go ahead and set the time right now when you go ahead set if you guys see set Right now, English, that's what we want when it's gonna go to the next one. So we change the, t the date, the year, and in here, we when you hit set, you go up or down, plus or minus. So we're gonna go plus to 22. And then we're gonna hit set again. And then the month, we are set, we're gonna go down to a couple months. So you got pretty much, that's how you set the clock up. Now, a very important thing where it says mode, snooze, and then you have different modes. You can set up an a, a actual timer. On the timer, we're gonna set up a timer. We're gonna hit timer, all right? We got zero. We're gonna hit one minute. So we're gonna go ahead and hit plus, plus, and then we're gonna start the timer. Actually, we're gonna hit plus. Once we have that one minute, we're gonna hit set, and then play the timer where it says snooze, all right? So we're gonna hit play. And the timer starts now. Five, four, three, two. So it, you can stop it with the snooze button, which is with the one in the back. I'm going to hit it in the back. I'm going to show you guys. The snooze button is right here. Hit that one, and that pauses the whole thing. There's these two buttons that clear. You set them up. You hit them both at the same time. There we go. We cleared it out and there's a clock. We just do another timer if you want. All right. Another great feature about this is like I said, you have the alarm in the back and then also you could change the Celsius to Fahrenheit in here, right? So in case you're going to buy it for another country or traveling or you don't want to change it or you understand the Fahrenheit and the Celsius, you can change it in the back here. You have that option. Now, the great thing about it, you guys heard the alarm. It's pretty loud. And you could set this up as your personal alarm too for waking you up in the morning. Uh, the only thing that there doesn't have a light, digital light in there, but this is made for a kind of like daylight um, area. So uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you. 
99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.